Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and uh, welcome again to my channel Code with JV. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can interact between components with the help of input and output directives in Angular. So as you know, Angular is one of the best frameworks to create uh, uh, single page apps and uh, it is one of my favorite frameworks uh, due to the various features and TypeScript. So, in this uh, when we create like uh, enterprise level apps uh, at that time like there will be many components and in many components we often require to do some kind of interaction between components like for example there is a header component where we need to pass username to show which username uh, which user is logged in and uh, the other uh, logic uh, between uh, the components will be there in the child component so like this kind of scenarios is going to often occur and uh, we are going to see how we can deal with this kind of scenarios in angular with input and output directives so basically uh, there will be a parent component and there will be a child component so when we need to do uh, communication from parent to child we'll going to use input directives and same way we, when we want to do uh, child to parent component we are going to use output directives so without wasting time uh, let's see how we can do it in the code so what i am going to do is i am going to move to my favorite editor visual studio code and here you can see for saving time i have created a standard angular line application with the help of angular cli and here you can see like it is having 9.0.2 version so let's run uh, this app so what i have done is uh, like npm run start and let's see how the application look like so here in the browser you can see it is a pretty standard angular app and uh, uh, there is nothing new or fancy there so for this purpose we don't require all these stuffs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all these stuffs and i'm going to put just at h1 and say uh, angular compound interaction name so now if you see like here it is uh, showing same uh, string there so to, to demonstrate this we need another component also so we already got app component which is uh, going to act as our parent component but we need one more component as a child component so what i am going to see is um, we are i am going to create a message component there with the help of angular CLR. So here you can see now in the message folder it has created a message component there and this is a pretty standard uh, angular component and uh, with the help of this selector we are going to put this uh, message component into the app component so we now can see like message works so that is like uh, the message component is now successfully loaded into the app component as we put those things here so now uh, let's write some code uh, so first we are going to see how we can interact with the uh, child component uh, from the parent so like how we are going to send message from parent to child component so to do this uh, what i am going to see uh, do is uh, i am going to create a property called message from parent and here what I am going to do is I am going to write input directive and here also we need input so uh, so basically what I have done is I have created a property which expects any input from the other component and uh, that is like message from parent now uh, to use this property let's say like here we have our message component so from here i can directly put something like this and say hey, child component 
and here uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to have a three tag to demo uh, so this message like what is the message from parent now if you see the application um, uh, so it has compiled and updated so here you can see like we got message from the child component itself so basically like it is very easy uh, to do interaction with uh, with the uh, parent to child component now in the to do uh, uh, interaction between uh, child to parent component there is no direct way so for that we need to have some kind of event maker so what i am going to do is i am going to create a child event which will be of type we are going to have new like this event maker and here also we require event emitter and here we are going to decorate it with output okay so what i have done is i have created a child event property there and this type of the event emitter and to do the demonstration uh, we need to have some kind of events there so we are going to use a standard HTML button and what I am going to do is I am going to put br there and we are going to have a button there and we are going to have click event called on click and I am going to write same function here And in this function, what I am going to do is I am going to emit this event editor and we are going to pass some message to parent component. Okay, so we have emitted like hey parent component, I am good, how are you? So now we once we got message from the parent component here, what we are going to do in the app component is we are going to have one property called message from parent of type string as we are passing the string there and here we are going to have h3 tag and to this so we can uh, see on the ui that uh, what are the message we are getting uh, from the child and here what we need to do is say when so we need to write like this and then what i am going to do is i am going to assign whatever we get from the event to this particular variable now if we run this app now we haven't prepared uh, the we haven't saved the message component and we need to write some like here okay now if we click on this part here you can see like we are getting message from child to parent component so basically here if you can see what i have done for this is like i have created a output event emitter which is expecting uh, uh, to send some output from the child component uh, and uh, in the app component what i have done is like i have created uh, i have created a event uh, for that component and then whatever in, uh, input from uh, whatever emits we are getting from this event we are going to assign to this variable this is the variable which i have created here like message from parent and uh, i am passing that message uh, here and i am printing those things in there so you can see like um, here uh, like it is very easy to do component interaction between parent to child and child to parent so i hope you like this video and if you like this video uh, then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel
and this is my channel basically slash code with jerry and so please do subscribe to ch my channel like it gives me in inspiration to create this kind of video so thank you for watching uh, this video and see you in the next video